Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to more Mega Man 7. In the last episode, we just got pretty much completed everything we can. We beat a Shade Man, Coil Man, got every item we can get, and we also got the Proto Shield. So in this episode, let's take on the Wally Sage. Let's do it. His maniacal laugh is gonna go down for good. Here's his castle, pretty elaborate. There's only three stages, well four technically, but three actual stages. Um, they're pretty hard. Like, this is probably one of the hardest Wally stages in Mega Man history, in my opinion at least. I love this music. It's so catchy and it's so groovy and I love it. It's freaking amazing. Now, the the super, the super adapter is going to be very useful in the next few levels. Just because there's a bunch of, like, they have a bunch of platforms that are intended too high too high for you to jump. But if you have the super adapter, it's obviously not going to be a big issue. Um, also, stuff like this. Because, like, it's a, bunch of, it's a bunch of, like, not pixel perfect jumps, but, like, block jumps. You know, they... If you jump too early, then you know you'll you'll lose. So how how these work is if you step on them, then the you know the uh, the power goes out, and also the things that are, like aren't tracked right, they'll start turning. So see as you can see, you can skip all that. Pretty cool. I'm um, very useful for this part of the game for sure. Which is why I advise you so heavily to get it because you know. Eh. The only thing bad about it is that Mega Man can't dash, as I've said before, when in this form. Okay. okay. See now this is too high to go, but you know, you can just go out of it, dash, get the health, and there we go. Back into it. I'm, you're pretty much going to see me in the super dab perform constantly throughout these next three stages. Just saying, I know. Also for the boss rush, I decided to actually use the weaknesses of the bosses, because I mean, I've already shown you the, you know, the, yeah. I've already shown you the, you know, the, 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 the X buster killing of them. So what I'm thinking of doing is speeding it up and putting music over it, kind of like, you know, because I mean, it's all you stuff you've seen before, you know? So it's like one of those things like, why would I even have it on? Alright. Eh. Okay, so... No! Save me, save me, save me, save me, save me! Yeah! I did not think that was actually going to come in handy in this LP, I'm not even joking you. Hup. Stuff like this makes it a lot more useful, as you can clearly tell. Alright. Yeah, uh, this part's really annoying, though. No, but I, I really do like these Wally stages, for sure. Um, they're a lot more challenging than I thought they were going to be in this game when I first played it. I was like, huh, you know, it's Wily, I and mean, how hard can it be? But actually, I was, like, pleasantly surprised at how, how hard they were. See, like, that E-Tank right there? You, you can't do it with that Super Adapter. You are far too weak, Mega Man. Wily may fear you. But I do not. Now, you have to fight base twice in this game. Uh, you know, one alone and one with the uh, quote unquote upgrades you stole from us. But look how easy this is. Look how much damage he's taking from this. Bam, dead. That's how easy it is. Round one goes to you, Mega Man. But I'll be back. Boogie. <laughs> I totally believe you, bro. Alright, uh, I forget what the first boss is. Oh, I know what the first boss is. This is annoying. See, as you can see, the super arm just owns everything. Alright, here we are at the boss. Alright, let's see what this is. Yo, know, while I still like Gus, man. Oh, hi. I know you. Okay, so apparently super arm not going to work very much here. Eh. Yeah, super arm not going to work. So his weakness actually is a slash claw. When I remember. Eh. Eh. Frick. As you can see, his weakness is pretty much, um, ow. Okay, I'm trying to use any tank. I'm not going to risk dying here. I have enough bolts to buy, like, 20 of them. Okay. All right. And no, 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 eh. Frick. Freaking gutsman arm thing. Ah. Eh. How does that hurt me without on top of the rock? That's freaking stupid. Ah. Eh. Whoa, hey. Beat him. I win. You ain't got nothing on me, bro. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I like the way the enemies die in this game. Like, the bosses of the Wily stages. It's pretty legit. And we don't get anything for we just kind of leave. Alright, second Wily stage, let's go. 
I don't need to buy anything. I'll probably buy some E-Tank stuff before the final level, but this one, nah, I'm good. Now, what I like about the Mega Man games is how they do it is, it, they, you know how they show, like, a little path? It's actually the estimated, the, like, the estimated path of how you're gonna play the level, you know? It's one of those cool things, like, say, in this area, you're gonna go left a little bit, up or right a little bit, up a little bit, left a little bit, or right a little bit, up a little bit. It's kind of cool how that works, you know? I don't know, I think it's really kind of a cool thing they've always done in Mega Man games. Okay. Eh. Get the bolts that I don't need. Kill you. Eh. Dodge all this stuff. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. Eh. I guess I need the health. I need the health. I'm so dead. Wow. Okay, okay. This music also is really good. As you can see, these wild stages are so easy with this freaking upgrade, dude. Like, it's almost like too easy. Wow. <laughs> I think they just like copied the last thing they got in the freaking uh, the thing you got in the game because that was way too easy. All right, so now here's another boss. Really? I just beat you. Ah, Mega Man, my word is over. This time, the mighty Mega Man shall fall. Why did they stop there? Treble attack! As you can see, he totally just copies off stuff you have already. Basically, he has a cooler version of our suit, essentially. This boss is freaking annoying because, uh, I recommend not doing this fight unless you have the super adapter. And only, only fight this boss as super adapter Mega Man. Um, because he's a toughie. Like, legitimately, he's hard. Um, he's probably one of the hardest bosses in the game, for sure. Ah. Okay, E-Tank time. Silly. You don't know I have E-Tanks. Okay. I was trying to get- I was just trying to beat this boss without using an E-Tank, but I had full health, essentially, so... I, I don't really feel like wasting my time. And there we go. Why? Why can't I destroy him? Why are you talking to me like I'm not here? Sad panda face. Anyways, that was fun, right? That boss is probably the reason I never beat this game until, like, when I got older, you know? Because, like, I mean, that, that boss is legitimately hard. Also, this boss part looks a lot like uh, Triple Man stage, just saying. But, um, yeah, that was one of the main reasons I never beat this game as a kid, because I would always, ha I would always like, waste all my lives on, you know, like, that boss fight, and then the, the, I would fight the boss of this frick. The boss of this level, and then, like, I wouldn't have any, you know... I wouldn't have any lives slash like E tanks and stuff to actually live in this fight, you know? Alright. Here's the final stretch of this level, just kinda like going on these like little fire platform thingies. Pretty easy to dodge, honestly. Like just don't be stupid about it. Like you have to kinda know their eh the trajectory, but I mean I'm I don't, so I'm pretty smeared. Eh. Give me health. Yes. So lucky, <laughs> seriously. No, I can't do that apparently. I'll take it. Eee, yeah, boss time. Because boss is actually weak to the uh, wild coil. Now, Doctor, um, never mind. He said char. He said charging. Okay, never mind. I think it's weak to the wild coil. I believe. Uh, yes, he is. Okay. Basically, this is a giant total. I like totals. Not totals. Um, basically, what's gonna happen is he does that fire attack, which does a lot of damage, actually. And then uh, after a certain while, he drops his little, little totals down. Now, they're weak to the thunder thing, as you can see. So I kind of just like go in the middle and just kind of kind of rinse and repeat. Uh, it takes a while. This boss does take a day, like a little while for sure. Oh, nice! I got three hits on him on that one. As you can see, it's really boring. As long as you're paying attention, you should be fine. The number on the little, like, the bunker that they're on, it depends on their attack movements. I think two is that they dig in the ground, I think. I'm not entirely positive. Um, I'm doing, like, ownage damage to him. I'm doing, like, task stuff right now. You jelly of my task skills, bro? Dang it. Now you can use X Buster on here, but since they're the reason I use like the Thunderbolt is because they're really low to the ground. I mean, the, X, the regular X Buster isn't uh, like isn't 
big enough. Like, you have to use a charge shot, you know? Dude, I'm gonna own him in, like, two rounds. This is amazing. Bam. I took no damage in that fight. That was amazing. I usually have to use at least one each time. That was freaking pro. Alright. Alright, so. Now, to stick on the last Wally stage, this one's actually probably one of my favorites. So as you can see, the trajectory, like the, the line I took was pretty much the line that you use in the level, which is, I think is really cool. Like the little crevice, like the little like left line where I fought base. And as you can see, there's a box in this one, so clearly they're going to have uh, like two, two areas in this game, which... The two areas, one's underwater and one isn't. I like the underwater I like the not underwater paths just because it's a lot easier and a lot more super adapter friendly. I know I'm a whore, what can I say? I don't really I don't really count. You know. Get it. Eh. Kill all the things. Alright. Alright, as you can see this is a this is a homage to like Cloud Man stage, obviously. Eh. I actually don't like this area because freaking it's annoying because you don't know where it's gonna go. Ah, no. In game lag, like, why are you hurtful me? I think the only reason they have the med tools in this game is to first level and just show you where they're gonna be at this level. Okay. Ah. Broken. Uh, broken attachment is broken. Give me. All right. So as you can see, we're kind of drawing close to the end of this game. Um, my next LP is gonna be one that. None of you works, I think, except for the people I talked to on Skype. Um, I told them and everything to my 16th of summer schedule. I have it all planned out already. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a good time. <laughs> like I said, um, it's going to be a game that none of you guys were expecting, for sure. Um, just because of the, the sheer randomness of it all. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Eh. There we go. Now here's where you can switch to the two paths or not. I prefer the upper path, it's my fate, it's my personal thing, but it's harder to get there. So what you have to do is you have to kinda like get rush jet, or rush coil, and kinda like wait a second. Um just what was where to get up there. Oh I know how. Now if you want to do it this way you can. Basically you just get on rush jet and go up and bam, there you go. Kind of a cheap move, but eh, I prefer it honestly. I think they're supposed to do it because they expected to have rush chat at this point. Because I mean, I don't think there's any other way to get over there. All right. So another thing you want to do, uh, the spring block section, just kind of do this. Bam! I just broke the level. You jelly. Bye, rush. All right. So now anything you can use here, um, use your S tank because I mean you're gonna get another one. Might as well fill up everything. And there we go. And, there we go. Ah, uh, turn around to extra robot. There we go. Nothing too hard. This level's, this path is definitely the easier one. Oh no, I want that. Sad face. Anyways, let's take on the boss, which is a weird boss for sure. He's weak against the slash clock. Definitely a weird boss, that's for damn sure. Japanese fighting robot thingy. Eh. Now, the whole point of this boss is now. To climb on top of these rockets here. Eh, no, no. Why am I sucking now? I was doing awesome against the total robot. Oh. Now the thing is, you can actually jump on top of these rockets here and kind of get an advantage point on them. Oh. Basically, the whole point is to hit his eyes with these uh, what do you call them? These the slash claw. Ah. Ow. Only two more hits. Eh, there we go. Jeez, that was close. Yeah, 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 yeah. I win, I win, I win. Woo. That was like ridiculously close. Cause freaking, oh my god, I almost died. All right, password. Not just gonna matter because it would take it back to the first one anyway. So, and, this, and thank you all very much for watching. I'm gonna call an episode here. The next episode, we'll take on the finale of. Mega Man 7, where we take on the boss rush and Wally himself. See you guys then. Also, I'm going to buy an E-Tank off screen, so yeah, see you guys then.